Hey, honey. Want, want your roof? Wow. Spot, eh? All the dents. Okay, for change we're doing something EOS related and today we're trying to get this panel out um, because the one on the car is, as you have seen before, hail damaged and I have a spare roof, well half a roof. So the idea is, uh, looks like it's just four bolts and uh, that might be all there is to it. Um, so we're gonna see if we can remove this on the spare roof and once we have done this um, then I'm gonna have a look how to get the panel out on the actual car, which might involve removing, well, definitely just remo involve removing the headliner, which I have yet to look up how to, um, obviously off here. And uh, I have yet to see afterwards what's in the way in terms of uh, the motor for the sunroof, which is right here. But um, I don't know, let's get this one out first and then take it from there. Well, it turns out it's not just these four, as it's six. The bottom corner, there's one. And, hold on. In the bottom corner, there's one. And on the other side, where are you? It's right there, right behind there. Okay, I can already imagine these being a pain in the ass to get to in, in the car on the roof. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's get these off and then see if we can get this panel out of this package. And, I don't know, then we'll see what we can do on the car without breaking things. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a Torx 30, um, all of these are, and uh, yeah. Some of these seem to be more difficult to get out than others, um, but they have Loctite on them. So, that explains why. Um, yeah, anyway, two bolts to go. So, all the bolts are out. Um, and see there's some of the headlining fabric that might be in the way, but other than that, it looks like you can just lift it out. Um, I'm gonna try that. I guess there's a bolt catching in the back somewhere. Yep, yep, there we go. Oh, something attached to the middle? No, that's... Oh, there is actually wiring. Hold on. Where does it go? Oh, there is wiring. I need to unclip the wiring. Okay, be right back. Well, while I'm looking for a tool, uh, well, Miko just did it by hand. So far, they all seem to be cooperating. Well, the last one, of course. Yeah, of course, the last one never wants to. Okay, cool. So. Now I'm running out of space uh, and the hands. Uh, can you come over here and try to see if it just comes up? Nope. Okay, we have to push it further away. Oh, I'm gonna try to push on the angles and the, uh, on the brackets. Oh, yeah, like this way only. Uh, if we turn it sideways, it's gonna be good enough. Now don't put all oh, that way. Yeah, we can also do that way. Getting there. Okay, I need to put the camera down. This is ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. One panel out. And it doesn't appear to have hail damage or any other damage. The donor roof is having less and less things on it. I don't think I'm gonna ever deal with wanting to swap it over though, um, in terms of like the other parts. I think, I guess the rear window frame might be an easy enough job, maybe. These? I don't know about those. Um. Anyway, this is out, and now I'm gonna try to have a look. Oh, there's a little ding there. Great, not perfect. Yeah, right there. There's one dent right here. But hey, it's uh, about one compared to, I don't know, um, about a hundred on the other one. Okay, uh, on to researching how to get this headliner that's in the way out of the car right now so let's have a look okay we're outside and getting into the car now because headliner supposedly just clipped in here and i just pulled this part off already but 
it's on the side panel there. It basically just yeah, pull on the front here on the on the yeah, no on the bottom on the uh, on the side piece. Yes, on that. Right. Slide it forward. That's what it. Yep. So that's what we saw on the donor roof, but um. No, yeah, that's just the two locking tabs. One goes in here, one goes in there. Um, but now this is still in the rail here somehow, isn't it? Um, this is a framework here, you can tell. I don't know. Um, I don't know if the framing of the pillar needs to come off or something. The cover. Oh, we'll fiddle with it. Okay, so you just have to get it out of this top frame or the top rail oh, yeah. here. Just, you just need it. More. Yeah. Actually, not that difficult, I guess. So now, oh, uh oh, yeah. Um, I can see what you can't see. A lot of things in the way. <laughs> I already see one of the bolts. It's right there. The other one is. Uh, so this looks like it might have to come out. Um, okay. Uh, well, I, I have this in the cellar, so I'm gonna have a look at that in the cellar and see where the attachment points are and then take it from there. Okay, I uh, got this panel, the old panel, the broken panel for reference. Well, it turns out it's broken. I noticed there's something broken off here in the back and I can see it's this, the standoff with another screw going to the roof. Um, so apparently he didn't know how to get to that. I figured Right, this is just another one of these. Same things like in the front here, based on the old part and what it looks like, and yes it is. So in theory, if I just take this off, all of this should just reveal itself, I hope. There we go. Um, okay, we might have to actually move the roof to get to the rear bolts in that corner, and that corner. Um, the other ones, I'm not sure it's this one or this one. I uh, need to figure that out. And this panel needs to come out, which is... I oh have yeah, this entire thing here, this tray is missing on this, obviously. So he just broke that off on the old roof. Nice. Um, previous owner, lovely. Uh, this needs to come out. And then one, two, three, four, and then we should have this plastic piece out of the way. Which may or may not be holding the motor. No, it's not. Okay, the motor is screwed to the roof. Fine. Oh, fine-ish, which means we need to actually m remove it from the roof. Ah. Oh well, let's get going. Okay, the holder for the headliner is out, um, and the sunroof motor is exposed. The spider, as it's called, probably because of its eight leggy legs. Um, yeah, uh, good to see. It's still all in here. I mean, it's all working, so I'm not too concerned with this. Um, this is just a run out. Oh, yeah. um, now, we have this one, easily accessible. Same on the other side, obviously. Number two, easily accessible. Ah, well, yeah, easily accessible. Number three, um, hidden in the corner. Uh, I'm gonna probably look for a way to get to this one first and then get back to you. Um, but beforehand, I'm also gonna, well, I'm obviously gonna have to remove the sunroof motor. Okay, this is accessible. Um, uh, this is already not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into this. So we opened the roof a little bit. Um, so the hinges out of the way so we can get to this rear bolt. Obviously the car isn't fancying this, um, but I'm going to try to get this out quick and then uh, move on to the next ones. Okay, I got both rear ones out. Um, they have shims that are sitting on top of them, like uh, it's easier to see on the other ones. Uh, can't try. I'll try in a minute. Um, the shims need to be... they are on tension still when, I, when you start with these, so I just used uh, pliers to pull them out. Um, just make sure you keep track of how many are where, because um, obviously you want this to be level again after the fact. So I'm going to put it back down. Um, uh, 
Bing. Windows, just in case. So it's happy. Okay, let's close this because it's in the way. Okay, yeah, you can see the shims. Oh, there's a lot of shims up there. How many are those? Five, it seems like. Nice. Um, we only have... Oh, we have a bunch up there. Um, I can't... It's, yeah. Um, these have tanks, so what I tried is like a small screwdriver to like orient them in the right way so I can grab them with the pliers before I took the screw out completely. Um, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna undo uh, this one and this one now and the ones behind me. And then I'll see what else I need to undo. Obviously some zip ties. So it me needs, means I need some more zip ties. Um, the cable here that we did on the other roof, that's the sunroof motor obviously, and the motor itself for obvious reasons. And I just need to still figure out how to get to all the screws of it. Anyway, bolts first. So, sunroof motor is off. Um, the gear, I thought this was supposed to be plastic, but maybe this has been replaced with a metal one. I don't know, it seems okay. Um, looks good in there. Uh, really hesitant to do this, but there's no other way to get to this and this bolt. And this is... I guess that's the one going through here. Okay, yeah, so I need to get this and this off in order for, for this to separate from the roof. Um, and we need to get these things off here. Um, however, these came off again. I don't know. Um, like this. Ah, oh, these sticky wrapped cables. I hate them. Um, yeah, anyway, gonna get on with this and then hopefully we can remove the panel because it's already kind of loose. Um, it's just hold, held on by two screws for now that I haven't taken out completely yet. Um, the rest is down here with all the shims, except for one shim that's in the far corner there that we have to retrieve or use one from the spare ones. We'll see. Anyway, uh, sunroof motor needs to move. Well, this, well, it does. The spider needs to move. Okay, back in the cellar. Um, the roof panel is completely undone in the car. Just two bolts of the sunroof motor, um, of, the, of the, the spider. The motor itself is three bolts. You need to just take it out. Um, and then you need to undo just some clips on the underside. Are they, in, are they here still? Uh, yes, these two. Um, that's where the spider ends are clipped in. Two of those at least. Um, two or th two zip ties in the back going around these struts. And uh, now all we need to figure out is... Um, this is the back. So where this tape is, is also where this headliner used to be attached to uh, this part in the back here, this. And this looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six clips. It's just clips. Okay, um, six clips somewhere down there where the, this has tape for some reason. I guess just clips. I. Pulled on it and I got two clips out. I guess this might just be clipped. Okay, let's go back to the car. Leave this here for now. Well, back in the car, I'm obviously mistaken because there's a screw, there's a screw, there's a screw, and uh, if you pull on this plastic, it is obviously this, it's attached to that. Yeah, so I need to take out three more screws. Let's do that. Okay, it's down, it's out. Um, these three screws are plastic. I think it's Torx 25, and they have little pop thread rivet thingies in there that come out with it and uh, then you have then you just basically gently pull two three four five six seven eight nine ten little retention clips here ten noses that are facing each other and you just gently pry it off pull it off out of the panel here and now in theory there shouldn't be much holding this on so uh, there's a shim in there that didn't want to come out. I remember that. Won't even be able to get it now. Eh, no, not really. Um, I mean, it's still captured by the rear here, by the roof. We did... Oh, well, let me get out of there. Yeah. What was that? Oh. We did pop the sunroof before I disabled it, because it is otherwise ca uh, caught underneath. Um, oh, yeah, look at all these dents. It's still caught under here, but the idea is to possibly get it out the front now, or move it upwards and then back. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Oh yeah. See, I just did up and forward just to get it out of the, under the window frame in the rear. Let's do it on this side, all the wind noise. Sorry. 
yeah again just push up and forward a little bit so it slides under the sunroof and now out comes the rear which means I should be able to just lift it out oh yeah Miko would you like to grab this side and just lift it up and back yeah just yeah there you go no I'm just gonna walk around there we go um one dinged up panel let's just put it on the grass Hey honey, want, want your roof? Wow, all the spots, eh? All the dents. Okay, let's grab the new one, put it on and undo all of that stuff. But before that, let's let's just have a look at what this looks like. Um, so, yeah, you can see now the spider exposed. This is where, the, where it was clipped into the roof, plastic clips. These, no, these three, uh, two, no, this one, one, two, was what bolted it to the roof, plus the motor itself, which I disconnected, all these clips here. Hey, honey. Um, one, two, three, there's a shim that needs to go down in here, where I placed them in the order I took them out, so I know what is where. Driver side, rear, middle, front, passenger side, and yeah. Now let's undo all of that um, by putting the new one back on and uh, should be back to normal. Have a look at that. Um, it's dirty, but as we noticed earlier, there's one little dent, but that's it. I just cleaned the rubber seals all around just to get all the dirt and grime out of it. And um, once it's dry and installed, I'm going to crytox it too. But for now, this needs to just go back into the car. Okay, the roof is just slid back on, put in. Just go in here with your finger to get the seal to, to just to just slide in basically. Right now it's just sitting loose again. Which means now we're gonna go back in here without disturbing all the things that I put on the floor here. Um and now we're gonna start with a spidey. Get that sorted. And uh yeah, just start fiddling with the bolts. The first four are gonna be easy and then have to move the roof a bit after the fact when all this is buttoned up. To get the last two in um yeah so far not bad okay got these in with the shims uh the easiest way it turned out to be um have the screw ready on the driver like just at in reach and then you just lift up have the package in hand like this the shim package and as you lift up the roof with one hand just one hand push up the roof the other one you just slide the package of shims into place roughly over this pretty big hole and then you just uh, put it down the way it's gonna hold it in place. Use your tool and just start the, th the screw, thread it in a little bit. And yeah, Bob's your uncle, huh? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this two more times over here. Uh, this one's already in, but without the uh, shims, I'm gonna undo that and put the shims in. Now that I have a nice way. Number two over here. And then I need to check the rough alignment on the outside before I can put everything back in place. Okay, I put all these little cable clips back in. I put the spider back on. Um, I put the headliner eclipse it back in. Uh, I noticed that I only removed this one and this one here. And I feel like it might need one there. Uh, it doesn't have one. Um, this roof didn't seem like it was a part ever. So I'm going to have a look if I find one of those in my convolute downstairs from the old roof because I think there might be and then I'm going to put it in. Well, I put one of these in. I found, didn't find a silver one. I found a black one. Looked the same. Um, turns out, I think, it's it's one of these. Um, just in short, so maybe a real one. Hmm, now the real ones are also longer. Uh, I know I had one of these. It's, oh, yeah. Now this had a shim. Different one. I don't know. Maybe they were black before because it looks and fits otherwise the same, although it is marked, um, which I only found on those roof bolts. So, who knows? Anyway, this shouldn't be in the way. I'm going to put the motor back on, and once that is on, I'm going to start tightening down those, because I think the alignment looks good, and then I need to pop the roof open a little bit, which hopefully still works, <laughs> to get to the rear ones and get those in with their shims. That's gonna be probably the biggest fun. Oh, I just noticed. I need to put these back in. Uh, uh, oh, that's up there, yeah. Okay, that is 
these are just like tiny little pop-in threads. Yeah, so you just take those, pop them in place. Come on. Ah. Come on. Okay. That doesn't want to go in there, does it? Ow! Are they different sizes? No, they're not. I don't know. Uh, oh, I see there's a hole in there. I need to align it right, huh? Okay, I'll, I'll fiddle with that with two hands. That previous owner, did he have any idea what he was doing? Because these were still in here in the back, where the other ones go. This one is still in there too, I just noticed. Can I? Yeah, right there. Come on. Focus. Focus. Yeah, see up there, just ripped off, broken off. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously. And this one went in after I just, uh, hold on, wide angle. I had to just reach around the bag, push the plastic into place so I could align the hole in the plastic and the hole in the metal roof and just clip it in. And now I'm just gonna have to do this here and here after I got this one out again with like pliers or something. And then this should be in place and we can continue. Well, I would like to say it's out, but actually it's in. Um, I hope it doesn't create any annoying rattles. So, um, yeah. Okay, it's buttoned up again. The motor is on. Uh, I put some new zip ties on there. It's only on that one. I don't know why, um, but that's how it was. Uh, the front and middle screw are both tightened down. Um, the rear plastic screws are in. These are, by the way, T30, just in plastic. One, two, and three. The clips are all clipped in, I believe, at least. Yep, this panel here looks like it's all clipped in. Um, this is gonna then sit under the plastic, on top of the plastic frame that's outside still. But for now I'm gonna go ahead and see if the roof, uh, roof still wants to open. Uh, in order to get to the corner screws, put those with their shims in. And, uh, yeah then we should be basically completed, except for getting this stuff back in here. Okay, let's open the roof. Well, mistakes were made, obviously. Uh, I do need to undo these again, because um, otherwise I can't lift that rear up to get the shims in, because it's sitting already flush and it's being pulled down. So, duh. Yeah, undo, undo, same on the other side. Let it loose again, and then put the rear in tighten it down before the roof starts complaining in the half open position and then look and hope that it's straight. Okay, <laughs> let's do that again. Okay, I put this one in. I only undid those two here on this side, put the roof up halfway, put this one in, which was really still annoying to get to, um, put the same shims in that were in there, tighten it down, close the roof again. Looks good. I'm gonna tighten those two down now. Um, Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten these back down and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Undo those two a little bit so I can lift the roof to get the shims in, open the roof halfway, um, put the shims in, put the bolt in, tighten it, close it, do those two. Because no, of course you can't access those two when the roof is half open because it's turned over in the way. <sighs> anyway, one side done, roof still works. Gotta do the other side and... I think uh, the cover for the headliner and the headliner itself. That should be should be it. Let's get to it. Okay, it's all back on and tightened down, except for the headliner. Um, alignment looks good. Maybe it could have been like two millimeters more to the passenger side. I'm not sure, um, but that's where it is. It looks good enough. It works. It's all buttoned up except for the headliner, as I said, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do a final test run. Well, then it should be done. Okay, um, I don't think I showed how to get this out, um, so I'm just gonna show you how to go get it in, because it's the same, basically. Um, this, you need to just, once you have undone this bolt and those four, you just need to pull it down a little bit on the back and slide it forward. It just hangs in here, left and right, and then whoop, you have it in your hand. And in, it's reverse. Um, you need to slide it in behind this, 
on both sides. The first P, the first uh, thread there, see, and yeah, just sits here, and then it dangles like this. And all you have to do at that point, take a screw, go here, find the actual thread underneath or above. Um, come on, where is it? Oh, it's actually right there. Screw that in. Um, one, two, three more, and this one in the middle. And that's it. Uh, one more thing about this screw. It came with one of these uh, washers, spacers. This needs to go up in here, not from in here because it doesn't fit. So it needs to just sit on top of there. Um, which means you just need to bend it down a bit and move that in there. Align it with... Uh, come on. Yeah. Align it with this kind of moving, moving metal spacer. Oh, there we go. The metal thread thingy there, and uh, then you stick the bolt in from the bottom. Let's see if I can do that right on the fly. There you go. Bolt goes in. Now you just need to pull it down a bit and find the uh, find the thread, and then it's fine. So I need the second hand, so I'm gonna do that. Quick another trick, um, the bracket with a thread in it, uh, when you push the screw against it, it just bends up and sideways, obviously, and then doesn't want to go in. Um, so I just took a random screwdriver through this hole, and you can see I just pushed it down until the screw actually grabbed onto it, and now it's fine. And now I should be able to just continue threading this in. There we go. A bit weird. I tried to hold it from the back with my finger because in the back you can actually get a finger in, but you can't reach it all the way to press it down. So yeah, um, from the driver's side front through this little edge here is where I had the screwdriver. And uh, well, did the trick. Annoying little details. Anyway, one, two, three, four behind me, and. Uh, then I should be getting out of this out of this sauna here, and um, I should have a functioning roof with only one little dent instead of a hundred little hail dents. Another quick tip: uh, these four don't tighten any of those down before you have all four in. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble aligning the holes um, if you just put in one side first. So just don't do that. Just put them all loosely and then tighten them down once you are done with this one, and they are all threaded in. Just to make it easier. Well, roof works still. It opens, it closes. Uh, I just applied some Crytox to the new panel, um, the new old panel. Let's have a look. Let's open it. Well, uh, no, nope, close it. But first, I need to finish the opening move because it's weird like that. Pretty close there, but no, nope, let go. It's pretty close there, but it's fine, I think. It doesn't actually catch or damage anything. Uh, yeah. So you can see I did all the lubrication on this. Put it in here too. The sunroof is going in there and spreading it. What I couldn't get to with my finger. Now all up. Headliner is in. Um, sagging a tiny bit here. But it's just adjusting, basically you need to just, this front line that you pull out, just need to move it over a tiny bit. Headliner works. Uh, yeah. Panel is in. Panel is lubricated. Needs to be cleaned. Um, but that applies to the entire car. So, done. So that concludes today's episode of the EOS and working on the EOS. And I'm sure there's going to be more, so see you in the next video.